The Buzz with Jess Lujan. We're back with Senator Talina Nelson and in this segment, let's talk about, because uh, I, I know you're, I, you have housing, but I know also that your passion for not just the folks that uh, are without homes, without dwellings, but also folks that, uh, um, again, are dealing with, with land issues. Mm -hmm. Talk about that. Well, the, in the previous legislature, there, there was a measure passed that would essentially uh, have a cutoff date, which, was, is, which is effective already, mm -hmm that if our Land for the Landless recipients did not pay the required mm -hmm. amount, which started out at 2500 mm -hmm. for the specific parcel that was given to them, mm -hmm. then the government would recoup that land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I thought, uh, you, maybe they don't understand, mm -hmm. right? Or, or maybe we need to be, do a better job at explaining this, the consequence of not paying mm -hmm. uh, for the parcel. It's a very small amount. Mm -hmm. Some of them receive a half acre of property, mm -hmm. and I felt that they needed a little bit more time. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the people that are in the land for the landless mm -hmm. parcels to to pay off it, pay off the pieces mm -hmm. of property mm -hmm. that were given to them. And so I worked with Mayor Doris Lujan, mm -hmm. uh, essentially because there's a big chunk in the south. Sure, sure, sure. And uh, we we went out to the villages and we had um, town hall meetings, mm -hmm. and essentially we we uh, pleaded with the um, with the you know the dwellers there to to please pay uh, for the property mm -hmm. because you would lose it. Sure. And uh, some of them said that they had no knowledge that this me that this measure was a law that mm -hmm. it was passed mm -hmm. into law, mm -hmm. and they were gravely concerned. Um, after the town hall meeting, we had uh, basically a listing of all the family names mm -hmm. and the dollar amount that was owed. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, and I like to thank the. Uh, uh, the land management folks because they were you know they were willing to work with mm -hmm, us mm -hmm. uh, especially the director and uh, we told them you know this is how much you need to mm -hmm, pay mm -hmm. and you know please ensure that you sure, get it done sure. uh, so our hearing from what I hear is going to be on May 30th mm -hmm. uh, but it's just yet to mm -hmm. be fi finalized mm -hmm. to have that public hearing mm -hmm. uh, to introduce that onto the session now, now let me let me ask you like you know for the folks who may may not have known that Maybe their mother or father had um, put some money down for mm -hmm. the land, landless, and they have since passed. Mm -hmm. Okay, now does that land now, if if it's their mother or father that have done this, and and maybe they were, <laughs> you know, very young at, at that time when when they had done this and had no idea. There's mm -hmm. there was no uh, uh, recordation of or, or I guess receipts that they possess that uh, their family member had, had done this. Now, can that family member fall under that, that um, premise of, of, of this, that's my dad that, that, that did that? And well, the, that question was mm -hmm. asked and mm -hmm. you know, it, it's on a case by case basis. basis okay. A lot of them have uh, different, um, different situations, sure. different circumstances. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, there was the provision that after you pay for the property, you cannot sell it sure, for sure. an X amount of years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so, you know, a lot of them questioned why. And, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and of course, this was uh, the wisdom of the past, right? Sure, so sure, they don't sure. just, so they, any developer doesn't just come in, takes the sure, land from sure, them, sure. right? Uh, at a small amount. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, so yes, it's on a case by case basis. And mm -hmm. if you go into land management, they will help you mm -hmm. um, essentially to, to uh, ensure that that property is protected. Mm -hmm and also uh, your rights. So, so, so what does this bill call for again in the extension of time to pay? Which right. is, how, long, how long is this extension? Well, the extension is not too long. It's uh, 60 to 90 days 60 extension. 60 to 90 days, okay. Um, yeah. Upon the bill becoming into law. Mm -hmm. And so we've been letting the folks out there know, please okay. start paying now. Okay. Um, you know, the land management has been uh, you know, very proactive. Mm -hmm. They haven't, uh, in the last uh, mm -hmm. town hall meeting, they stated that they haven't started recouping the land mm -hmm. and they still want to give opportunity for those that are occupying the land, those that have been given the parcel of land to come in and pay for it. So, so how, how, much, how, how much is that? that I mean, if, if people haven't started paying, what was the, the total amount? Uh, it, it varies. varies the, yeah. the initial payment was of 2500 and okay. then I believe there's a percentage okay. Uh, tacked on to that. Some of them are five thousand okay. dollars, six thousand dollars. So, so let me ask Very you. Very minimal amount. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So, so, so let me. So let me ask you in regards to the delayed implement or, or delayed, uh, uh, or given the e extended period of time, folks can pay. Now, if they made arrangements to start making payments now, 
uh, would they have to pay, pay it up within 60 days or have made arrangements to start making payments because I'm sure some folks cannot come up with 2,500 bucks or 500 or 5,000 bucks <coughs> within 60 days, right. but they've had to make arrangements and, and making good so far. Is, yes. that, is that what you're talking about in regards yes. to that bill? Yes, okay. in, in good faith, the, yeah. they have 60 to 90 days uh, to meet with the land management, uh, discuss a payment plan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and start paying off Okay, okay, the so, land. So, okay, got it. Let's switch a little bit to um, to the Energy Commission. I know you're very sure. proactive in regards to uh, to alternative en uh, energy. I, I see you know, GPA has come aboard with, with 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 that. So where we where we at with that? Because you know the the, the costs. I mean, we we're just looking at another LIAC uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> raise. You know, at, at some point, and I'm sure to a lot of people, same same folks that are maybe not being able to make uh, land payments or, you know, uh, uh, utilities are, are a, um, um, again, a, a commodity that's, uh, that's, you know, it's, they have to go all their way to pay, really. They don't mm -hmm. have enough money, you know. It's, uh, it's like having a Mercedes and not everybody can afford one, mm -hmm. yeah. So we are trying to, um, the Energy Task Force is essentially a, a proactive group mm -hmm. uh, that if it should come into law, that they would partake in, in a lot of the decisions regarding energy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and they will work closely with CCU to mm -hmm. ensure that, you know, we are doing what we can for the people to, to curb the amount of uh, money that they would pay for power mm -hmm. and also to implement other alternative means of mm -hmm. power, uh, you know, essentially protecting the sustainability of our island mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the natural resources. Mm -hmm. So is this a task force that you're, you're yes. forming? Okay. Yes. And what, uh, I mean, I know they'll study. I mean, you know, I, I hope this is just not another um, uh, blue ribbon task force and we no. got a lot of the studies, but yeah. what role would they have? Be? I mean, I know the role, but what uh, duties or, or what can they do that, that will have some teeth, basically? Well, it gives them some authority mm -hmm. to, to act um, uh, with CCU. And so it's not just a uh, recommendation mm -hmm. board mm -hmm. uh, or a recommendation task force. It's actually a task force that says, hey, this is something that you should implement. And, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you know, it's, it's, it provides a checks and balances with, uh, you know, with versus fossil fuels and, and sustainable energy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I, it, has some, it has teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we've yet to have a public hearing. Mm -hmm. And you know, hopefully that we receive a lot of uh, mm -hmm. good input so that okay. we can really craft this bill for the better of our okay. island. So, so you already have that bill? Is yes. The bill's already written. What, what bill number is that? Uh, I don't oh, know okay. it off the top okay, of right my head. Okay. But it is a bill that's introduced? Yes, it okay, is introduced. Okay, and we would mention, you, you'll give me a call and you know what bill it yes, is and, and we'll definitely get that word out there and the number of the bill when he has. Uh, ha, who, does it, who does it go, go to? Does it go to your committee? Yes, it goes okay, to so you have not set up a, a public hearing for that That's yet, correct, right? Yes. Okay, but when you do, you'll uh, you, you'll, you'll let us the, know. The the option that I wanted to right. extend is to have a roundtable meeting. Mm, okay. First, with all of the uh, energy mm -hmm. partners sure. and and of course the Center of Island and Sustainability mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and GPA and CCU mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. to hear you know sure, their concerns sure. and how we can craft this bill better. Sure. Uh, sure. So I, I you know the public hearing will be coming shortly. I mean mm -hmm. the the round table meeting and then we'll have the public hearing right mm -hmm, after. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, now I know there was a, I think a study commission um, by the alternative energy folks I think in regards to, to solar. I know I think GP had a, a study out and I think uh, was countered by the by the solar folks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Is there is there a middle of the road study that comes out that really looks at, 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 at that? Is, is that available or is that study? I, I know that some kind of study was being conducted that uh, was kind of the, in, in the middle of the road that, 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 that talks about solar? Yes, there, there is a study out mm -hmm. there. Uh, however, we want, to, we want to make sure that the studies that are done now from here on out mm -hmm. are non-biased and, yeah, sure, sure, and not sure. special interest. And, and, and that's what I'm talking about. It, it's just, you know, the middle of the road, right? Mm -hmm. That I'm looking at, at everybody's interests, you know, and, and down as opposed to just one side. I mean, I can put out a study and, on how good of a guy Jess is and, and how good, you know, <laughs> and we put it out ourselves, right? right? But let's have somebody in the middle put a yes. study out between uh, both of us, right? Yes. <laughs> so we look at both of our entities. But anyway, we're going to take a quick break and then we'll be back. Be right back.